Hello everyone, I'm Tom with Stock Navigators and this is the weekly market forecast for the week of May 8, 2022. So after five weeks downturn in the stock market, the investor will be tested once again next week with a Federal Reserve speak out on the circuit again and the latest consumer price report due to the rock and to give the inflation watcher one more time to chew on. The consumer price report is expected to show about 0.2% month-over-month increase in consumer price index and decrease in the year-over-year -year inflation rate to 8.2% from 8.5%. So as you can see right now, the food and the gas price are seen running extra hot right now. The look at the 10-year treasury note and we have yet put up to another level uh, to the upside. Uh, right now, uh, on Friday, uh, the threshold for the first time, they increase and ending of the week at 3.13%. So right now, they, uh, the 10-year treasury note, they approach to the level of sales on between this level. So hopefully, this sales on here will hold them up and uh, push them down. So uh, next week, and a lot of uh, earnings report, uh, some name that you need to watch, like uh, Duke Energy, uh, uh, Occidental, uh, uh, and the food, like the TSN. So don't name that uh, uh, you should pay attention for that. Now let's take a look on the major indices. I will go to, and after that I will go to the sector and to see which sector is stronger performance. And then I will give you my view for next week. So, uh, first of all, let's take a look on the Imidi SB500 chart. As you can see here, right now, um, after, sin, uh, after we run up uh, in the, uh, uh, to the upper level here, the market failed to make a high high, and now they continue to rub down. So overall, the market, the trend is still down. However, we are very close to the level of support. This is the point of confluence. They have many uh, downtrend line support. They also have a retainment level support. So uh, the market, hopefully, they can find some support or close to the support at this level. And we're looking for some uh, another strong bow up to the upside. So uh, if you look at the uh, NASDAQ, you can see also that NASDAQ has continued to back to multiple level of support and continue to heading south. However, we are very close to the buy zone at this level. Let's see if they can hold on to it um, uh, uh, so that we can look for some kind of rebound. The uh, Dow is also uh, still on, on strong to the buy zone at this level here, even though the trend is still down. So this is the last line of defense. So let's see that the market it can hold on and looking for support or they will uh, continue to slam it down. So the market is still very choppy and you can see that all of the major index, they only heading south. The Russell 2000 it also continue to heading south as you can see here. But however, <laughs> they have a strong uh, 1800 level and also a support level also. So, so overall, then it's still down. Uh, the market is still continue to put it down. But, but all the major indices, they are right at the level of support. So if you short the market, then you need to uh, watch out. Okay? And if you look at the uh, volatility index, as right now, you can see that they uh, shoot it up a couple of times. They try to test the the, the high and level of 35, 37 here, but they uh, give up. So the volatility, it, as long as they don't punch to that level, uh, and then they continue to go down, it will give the the consumer, uh, the investor, uh, uh, more confident to uh, get back and buy to the, on the bottom. So let's see. Next week, we watch out for the volatility index here. They will tell you uh, where they are heading to. Okay, and if you look at the uh, crude oil, the crude oil is still uh, a, a strong sector to continue to push it up to the upside. Momentum is still push it back up. They break out that trend line and continue to put it up higher. Uh, they have a, a lot of resistance up here, but in the short term, they still push it up. Uh, gold is also 
found a support here. So they're looking for some kind of rebound, but the overall trend is still stuck into the downtrend. Uh, the natural gap, they they pretty strong. However, like I want I will I will wanting you last last week. They hit to the top, so they pull back down. So so let's see. They still they still hold on to the upside. Uh, so the momentum is still there. The sales on it up here, so they may push it up one more shot before they give up. Okay, so now let's take a look on the uh, euro. It still continue to heading south. They have a strong support here, uh, so they are slowing down a little bit. But the momentum is still uh, in the downtrend. Uh, you know, as long as the the situation uh, between the Ukraine and Russia is still there, this one will take a while to build away in order uh, to snap back on. And at meanwhile, the dollar it continue to run up to the upside. If you look at the Bitcoin, it also uh, losing momentum. They come back down. So this is the last line of support for the Bitcoin here. And on it, they stay in this area here. They may test the bottom and bow back up. If they break below here, then it will be. Uh, we have to watch out. Okay. And the Ethereum it a little bit stronger. They're coming down, but they hold it up for uh, trend light support, and this is the buy zone. Uh, we will see if they're able to hold it up here. Uh, but the trend is still not turn around until they're able to break out the down trend line here. Now, let's take a look at uh, uh, 11 sector of the SB500 so that we can see which one is the strongest one. The, first of all, the uh, material uh, sector is still pretty strong. They hold up three times at this level here. Every time they drop, they push it back up above the upper trend line. They drop again, people buy back in. So it means that this level is still pretty strong here. So if next week the market be able to hold on, the uh, material sector can uh, come back up and push it up to the upside, uh, as we can see here. Okay, and the can some uh, uh, a communication service the sector pull back now they still have a strong level of support here but the momentum have not turned to the positive yet so we need a couple more days next week to see how uh, they be able to lay out the energy is still a stronger sector you can see here okay uh, the more sanction okay the more people avoid Russia uh, oil and low production on the oil pack, it continue to put the oil price up to the upside. It continue to make it new high high. Okay, so oil, it, the energy is still a stronger sector right now. And next week, a couple of stocks that you need to uh, watch out that the uh, for the earning on Monday that the Duke Energy, uh, the stock that they pull back down after the run up, they pull back down. They have some support here. So let's see it uh, after the earning, uh, they can push it up to the upside again. And some stock that uh, next one is the uh, OXY, okay. This is the uh, Occidental uh, uh, Petro. This one here is also very strong here. They break out this level here and continue to push it up uh, to the upside. Okay, and one more name that you need to watch out uh, for the uh, earning uh, next week. I think at the TSN with the high price of the uh, food price. So this stock it, they pull back down to have some strong support over this level here. And now if they can hold on here, uh, they probably find a way to put it back up. But right now it, they need to clear this downtrend line here. Okay. Um, Let's take a look on the financial sector. Financial sector, it, they are uh, no dive to the uh, to the to the downside. However, this one here is also a buy zone. So, so that you can see, it's critical for financial to hold up at the buy zone here. We need one more put up in order to come back and retest the upper bound here in the short term. Okay, the industrial it also. Uh, get rejected a couple of times at the buy zone. They still hold tight here. When they drop, buy a step back in. They drop, buy a step back in. So you can see it's a lot of accumulation here. So uh, hopefully market will, for this sector will find some support here and then rebound. 
okay now uh, look at the technology with the high inflation uh, interest rate high it continue to slam down this sector to the downside okay so uh, at this moment it, it momentum with the up down choppy here we have a strong level of support here so we don't know uh, are they be able to turn around or they are too choppy around here to get to the buy zone before they can rebound uh, up to the upside momentum is still negative so we still consider it in the downtrend until they be able to break out the downtrend line here to turn around the utility it also get hit high after they run up too far too far they pull back down they are right at the support and now they need to build up some momentum here and put it up to the upside consumer stable one of the strong had one before but after run up now they pull back down so they have a strong level of support here also so uh, let's see they can hold on and then rebound okay the real estate it get hit on the higher interest rate um, but they come back here they reset the buy zone they still hang tight here so we need uh, uh, this sector to turn around if they're able to build up a neck candle to the upside if they continue to drop then we can see that they can head to the the bottom of the buy zone okay but so far it's a uh, some momentum to buy back here let's see they can uh, looking for something to push it up next week the healthcare sector it also uh, tested this level at one time this is the second time on friday so again in order to move higher they have to uh, push it up uh, next week in order for the bull to continue the consumer discretionary is still a wicked one as you can see here with the high inflation high interest rate uh, gas price food price it go to the roof so the people uh, 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 the consumer is still watch out for their pocket as you can see they come back here but however they are I right at the very close to the support here so uh, we'll see are they be able to stabilize here and looking for a rebound okay so at this moment you can see that uh, uh, a lot of uh, energy stock that you be the best one that you need to follow and summary energy stock is very strong so you need to uh, monitor it and yet follow it okay for a short term until the situation in Russia and you can be stabilized but that one will take a while okay so now uh, look into the next week as you can see the market is right now this one to continue to heading south but uh, they are close to red of support so we watch out for this level of support here to see how the market react to see any uh, 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 institution that get back in and push it up to the upside okay all right so uh, that's all uh, I have for you this week if you are busy working you can uh, check out and subscribe to our, our money zone method where we'll uh, uh, handpick uh, many stock and analyze in detail with the entry stop lot and target so that you can follow so trading is a very risky uh, business if you don't understand how to use the technical analysis and and you are gamble with the stock market so if you're interested to learn how to trade and how to uh, join our community and you can do light trade in the short term uh, you can check out our website at stocknavigators.com or check the uh, show more link below uh, so that we can help you out again thank you for watching and good luck in your trading and uh, happy mother day to all of you take care